Advanced Science and Technology is the repository of scientific and technological innovation inside defence. It's an organisation full of world-class defence scientists and they are there solely to provide great support to defence. Most people think of defence, they think of the three services, the Army, the Navy and the Air Force. DST is a vital fourth service. If a threat emanates or the threat changes from within that current battle space, DST will work and move mountains to actually address that problem. There's barely a project in the ADF, a, a new piece of capability or equipment, that hasn't had an influence or been touched by the Defence of Science and Technology. DSD is an absolute integral partner in everything that Navy does, uh, both in our current capabilities and our future capabilities. We could not do what we do, both in terms of daily operations, but also in terms of building the future fleet without the advice that we get from DST. For Army, DST help us make the complex simple and the simple compelling. DST are part of our DNA. DST bring with them an element of trust. And from Air Force, that's really important as we understand what the future is going to bring. DST give us that peace that no one else can. I can approach things as an aviator. I can approach things as a military leader. But I don't have that perspective that DST has that allows us to then generate a good outcome. One of the key projects that we've had in interaction with DST is the force protection electronic countermeasure perspective. Over the last three years we've delivered approximately 180,000 individual and vehicle mounted uh, systems, known as Red Wing, uh, to the Afghans. Protecting the warfighter operating in what is probably the world's greatest threat environment. We would have struggled to deliver the Red Wing capability without DST's knowledge, experience access to science, uh, access to those technological advances, we, we couldn't have done it. When Defence Science and Technology is working with all the other, other components of defence, what we're generating is a world-class ability to field military capability and to be better than our adversaries. And that's why they're absolutely essential. The significance of the Grand Challenge programs it's an opportunity to bring together the best and brightest minds from across DST, from across industry, from across academia, and really apply deep intellectual thinking to a very important current problem across defence. A real benefit of this partnership is it's building Australia's sovereign capability in key areas of opportunity or challenge in the future. Areas like artificial intelligence, uh, robotics, uh, cyber security. Defentex has research relationships with a large number of organisations around 19 universities, but chief amongst those is our relationship with Defence Science and Technology. They are the key enabler that allows a company like ours to be able to leverage deep expertise and knowledge that we couldn't otherwise find in the academic community. They've created systems that have been sold to overseas countries. Things like the NOLCA anti-ship missile system, the over-the-horizon radar system. These are things where Australia is ahead of the technological curve, if you like. As I compare the way that uh, our defence science and technology is integrated into the way that we operate, uh, it's world leading. We are going through a technological step change and we can't do it on our own. We absolutely need more support from DST. If we didn't have a DST, we'd have to create one. Without DST having a particular focus and without DST being an Australian organisation, we wouldn't be able to effectively contribute to I think the defence of the nation, and in particular, the national interest of Australia. DST is important because we want to win, and we need their capabilities, their innovation, their insights in science and technology to make sure that we're fielding the best defence force we can, and that our defence force is better than 
and has a capability edge over our adversaries.